Hello everyone. Welcome to Scenario Based Tableau Training offered by Raipati Analytics. This is Kalpana Raipati. Visit our website raipatianalytics.com and register to get the first two weeks of the Tableau Training. Also, to get the mobile app from Google Play Store, type Raipati Analytics and download the mobile app. Coming to the topic, in this video, let us talk about live and extract. So what is this live and extract? To make you understand, I have taken a simple data in Excel, field and column, two, co two columns and only four rows of data. Okay, two columns and four rows of data. I have saved it on the desktop. I have given the name as live. Now let me close this. Let me connect to that Excel here where I have saved that on the desktop. Now this is the Excel that I am having. See where you get this live and extract option. See once you have connected to your data here. Once you bring your table here. Then here on the canvas two options are getting enabled. One is live and extract. So what is this filter option we will see later. Even in this video let us explore about this live. Okay what is this live. So here my data source is Excel. I have connected to Excel. I am having four rows of data now let me go to this sheet one now i am building the view by dragging this field and value so this is the view that i have developed now what is the connectivity type here if you go to the data source page by default this is my data source i have connected to my data in the live mode what is meant by connected to the data in live mode that means when you have connected to your data source in the live connectivity mode, Tableau builds a connectivity path between your data source and Tableau. What is meant by this connectivity path? That means whatever the changes that happens at your data, data source end gets reflected at your Tableau end. First of all, how you will come to know that you are connected to your data source in live connectivity mode. See, this is representing my data source. And here you are getting this symbol, right? Single cylinder with this tick mark. That means you are connected to your data source in the live connectivity mode. And what is meant by that? Whatever the changes that happened at your data source and get reflects at Tableau and let us see that. To understand that, what is that I am doing here is I am opening, I am opening my data source. Here in this case, my data source is this Excel, right? Now what is that I am doing here is, I am, I am deleting this row. I am updating this value. And I am adding one new row of data. So deletion, updation and insertion. Three changes I have done at my data source end. Now I change this, I am closing this. Now just go to Tableau end. Here, as you are in the live connectivity mode with your data source, see this is your data source, right? Just go to your data source, just right click on this. If you click on this refresh, if you click on this refresh, just see. Here, see I have updated B value from 200 to 300. That D is gone. That means I have deleted that D. And I have added a new row that is E. So that with a simple refresh, whatever the changes that are happening at your data source end, that is getting reflected at the Tableau end. That is how you will be in live connection with your data source. That is the flexibility that you will get with your live connection here. But when to choose this live connection? When your data source is a high performance data source, and second thing is when your data changing frequently that means if you want to show minute to minute data or hourly data so hourly data means that you can schedule in extract that we will see but frequent changes if you want to show at your blue end then go with this live connection okay with a simple refresh you will get your data this is about live connectivity in Tableau.
If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.